Hello. I'm going to show you a simple experiment that you can do to prove to yourself that cold fusion is possible. Um, what I have here is that I've got a small uh, lead acid battery and that's just two ordinary uh, number two pencils. So I've uh, shaved off the ends a bit here so I can attach an alligator clip to both of these and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to spark them together. And uh, what is uh, theoretically happening here is that it's fusing the carbon atoms in the in the pencil lead, graphite, and the oxygen in the air to make iron. And the way that we will determine whether there's iron is that we will pass a very large magnet over it, which is covered with a white piece of paper, and we'll see whether it picks anything up. So let me show you how easy this is. So I just all I do is just spark this together, just just briefly. There's nothing too exciting about that. Maybe but this is all it takes, just a just a few sparks. Okay. That should be good enough. Okay, nothing difficult. I'll just remove my electric probes here and we'll just rub this together and we'll scrape off the residue onto this plate here. I just want to make sure that I get whatever we sparked on the tip there on the plate. Okay. That should be good. So we've got some we've got some uh carbon there. Okay, let's see if we put the magnet on it, whether anything sticks. Okay, I'm just gonna load it over the top here. Okay, now See if you can see this. So the magnet has picked up something. There's a little bit of, if the camera can focus on that, there, it did pick up some carbon specks. Now if you, you doubt that, that, with that that's stuck there magnetically, let me just go ahead and just put this on a regular piece of paper. Here. So I just do put that down, take away my magnet. Take whatever was on there onto my piece of paper. Okay, so, so, so now whatever was on there is now on this uh, flat piece of paper. So I'm going to stick my magnet underneath and you can see that the little specks are moving around in there. So again, if I get my camera to focus on this. Okay, see where are those little grains. I think you're having still a hard time seeing that. But there are the little grains that are falling around the magnet, showing that uh, there is something magnetic has been created. Now the only elements which are magnetic are iron, nickel, and cobalt. Copper is, I mean, uh, carbon is uh, not magnetic. So the only conclusion we can come to here is that <clears throat> iron was produced in this simple sparking reaction. And uh, this is uh, generally considered impossible as the energy uh, to do the sparking is, is, is very low. And that's why we call it cold fusion. But yet we have this very puzzling result that we get these iron filings from graphite. And these experiments have been done uh, using absolutely pure graphite rods. And they've been spectroscopically analyzed and found that these little specks are in fact iron. Uh, so we can only conclude that cold fusion is possible, and you can do it yourself. There's a very, this is a very simple experiment. So I hope this uh, helps to uh, dispel the notion that uh, cold fusion is a bunch of hooey, 
because I've just shown in this very simple uh, experiment that you can do cold fusion very quickly and easily. Thank you.